All right, what's up everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a cartwheel. It's a very basic move, but it can help you with a wide range of other moves, such as going upside down, you know, getting into a handstand. It can help you invert yourself, get used to all that, blah, blah, blah. But with that being said, let's jump right into it. If you just wanna do the cartwheel, you can choose which side you wanna go on based on how comfortable you feel going one way or the other way. If you're learning this for tricking though, if you spin towards your right arm, so if I spin like this, boom, then you're gonna wanna go with your right leg down first and your right arm down first. If I spin towards my left arm, bah, like that, I'm gonna wanna cart with my left arm down first and then my right arm. Why do you wanna do this? Because when you get out of your cart, it'll be easier to go into tricks that require spinning in those directions based on where your momentum's traveling. So I start by facing the direction I'm going to cart, okay? So I'm facing this direction. I have one foot on the back on maybe like a 45 degree angle. You can adjust this to however you want it. The other foot going straight towards the direction of my cartwheel. I'm gonna face it straight on like this. Then I'm gonna come down, bending my torso, coming down, planting my right arm first, okay? My right arm is gonna go first because my right foot is on the ground in the front. So right arm, right foot down, and then I'm gonna kick back with my left foot. So it goes boom, 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 okay? I kick up. Oh, okay, hands above the head, right foot down, right hand down, left leg kicks up, boom, like that. And then I transfer over to my other arm and then come back down, whoa. I come tell her, this is not good. This is not a good idea. She should not be doing this. One more time. Facing the direction I'm gonna cart. All right, hands above the head, right foot down, right hand down, left leg up. Then I transfer my weight onto my right hand. That's when I kick up and I release my right leg. So I go transfer, kick up, 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 over, over. You wanna bend the torso back over just like you went into it. Smooth. <sighs> little kick with that left leg, a little jump off that right. Nothing dramatic, all right? Just a little bit, just like, oof. Going in the direction of my cartwheel. Oof. It's gonna give me the momentum to go over, make it look like a wheel. It's a wheel and you're the spokes. Right foot down, right hand down, kick with the left leg up, do a little jump with the right leg, rotate your weight above your body, keep it going in the direction of your cartwheel, other hands down, you're on both hands, then you're shifting the weight to the left hand. You're gonna plant your left foot as you're taking your right arm off, and then you wanna take your left arm off as you put your right foot on the ground. Seems complicated, but it's really kinda natural once you try this a few times. All right, so if I was going the other way, left foot down in the direction of my cart, face, facing the direction of my cart, left foot down first, right on that like 45, whatever you feel comfortable, left arm down first, then I kick my right leg up in the back, put my right hand down, jump off my left leg, then I put my right leg down, and then I come off my hands, put my left leg down, and come up. Booyah, Grandma! If you notice when you do it, you're facing towards your cartwheel, boom, and then you're facing toward where you, towards where you came from in the end. That's the gymnastics way of doing it. If you wanna do it like just totally sideways, that's up to you. It might feel a little weird though. So you could just start sideways, but same things apply, okay? Your feet will just be facing forward. Same things will apply though. You, you act like a freaking wheel, all right? So I just bend at the torso, I'd still kick, jump off. Everything would be the same motion, all right? I could just go forever. Oh man, hell yeah. Hell yeah. So now in the beginning, it doesn't have to be perfect at first, okay? What you're gonna try and do is you're gonna try and keep everything in a straight line so you can get over your head, obviously. And you wanna kick with your leg that's gonna bring your lower body up over your head in a straight line. That nice kick in line with the line that you're traveling with. Now if you're afraid of doing this, if it's your first time doing like cartwheels, even standing on your hands or doing anything like this, you can jank it, it's totally cool, okay? It's totally cool with me, I don't see a problem with it. Just as long as you try and progress from there. Don't get stuck doing this, but just, um, you know, just in the beginning stages, if you're getting over that fear, just getting used to putting your hands down, this is totally fine, in my opinion. Do everything like this, but just one, two, and then just kinda, kinda throw your legs up at first. Doesn't have to be crazy. Just kinda, you're putting your hands down, 
and I'm shifting my weight onto my hands, just getting that feeling of going up on my hands, okay? I'm going up, oh, geez, whoa, it's scary, I'm scared. Okay? And then, over time, what you wanna do is when you put your hands down, you wanna try and kick up more with that leg, whoa, and then try and come back over. Now, some good advice for this beginning move is try to stay in the front, okay? So I'm trying to stay, I'm trying to stay in the front, more, more in the front like this, rather than going over the back like this. Because if I go over the back like this, a lot of people can't like deal with this and they'll end up doing, they'll end up doing some of this and then they'll, you know, get hurt out. So if you want to progress to it, progress from going forward to going forward but higher to forward but really high and nice. Some additional advice, try to feel the push from the shoulders have your arms fully extended. You can, can bend at the elbows a little bit if you feel the need to, but you don't have to do anything too dramatic like this unless you want to. However, a lot of people and most people keep them fully out like this. Boom, boom, boom. Think smooth motion. You shouldn't really be feeling any impacts. Do everything nicely and smoothly. Keep practicing, you know, progress up to it. Get warmed up. I hope that video helps everybody out out there. Thanks for watching everybody. Peace, don't forget to subscribe. I got weekly videos. Plus, <laughs> don't hit yourself in the tooth. You're gonna hit yourself in the tooth. You're gonna hit it. You're gonna knock your tooth out. You put that thing on your head. You're gonna knock your tooth out.